Hey everyone, I'm going to quickly talk about the four new Halloween NFTs coming to Common Ground World. Two of them will be distributed for free to qualifying players and the other two will be sold in the Galley Game store. The first one is the Spooky House of Laughs. This one will be distributed for free to any player who played for at least 10 days and made at least 25 sales within the same month. And this could have been in any of the past six months. That's the same requirement for getting the common storage for the month. So if you qualified for one of those, you will also qualify for the spooky house of laughs whenever you place this down you will receive a seven percent faster movement speed for your chocolate shop workers or your chocolatiers not that useful but at least it does something the next one is the spooky go round this one we will be given for free to any player who spent at least two hundred dollars in the galley game store on either town star nfts or common ground world nfts that is this one right here and whenever you place this one down it'll provide a 13 percent movement speed bonus to the fabric plant workers which are the weavers slightly more useful than the other one now for both of these nfts you cannot stack their abilities so if you happen to own multiple you will not gain any additional movement speed bonuses the next two nfts can be purchased in the gala game store i'm going to talk about the spooky wheel of nightmares first so this one when you place it down it'll provide up to three passive corn corn is a brand new crop that we have not seen in the game yet but it will be introduced very soon soon and it will be used in the upcoming competition happening on halloween which should be called the trick or treat bags meta this one involves using corn to craft corn starch which is then used to craft candy corn which is then used to craft the trick or treat bags so that's where corn will be useful this nft will seem to be useful for that as far as we can tell so the price for this one will be 140 dollars in gala and the supply will be 800 available and that one looks looks like this right here so the next one being sold is a spooky ghost tracks this one whenever you place it down provides a 31 percent crafting speed bonus to your candy shops and your chocolatiers both the in-game and the nft versions and it does not stack with itself so you cannot place multiple and continue to stack the bonus the cost for this one is 220 dollars in gala and there is 400 in supply and this is what it looks like right here so that's all for the nfts if you have to place all four of them in your town you will receive an additional bonus which is a 13 percent movement speed boost to beekeepers fabric plant weavers chocolate tears and candy shop workers so all of them will move even faster if you place all four buildings down and although the announcement doesn't say this it was mentioned in the town hall that these nfts will only take up one quarter of a tile so you can place down all four of these nfts in one single tile none of them should have a road requirement so they should don't take up that much space these nfts should be going on sale on october 23rd 1 p.m central time and the two free nfts should be distributed around that same time as well now i went ahead and reviewed all four nfts so i'm going to show you that the spooky house of laughs i think the utility of this is insignificant it's barely gonna help you and if you have to place down all four nfts then i suppose placing this one down for the additional 13 percent movement speed will be worthwhile but other than that if you're placing it down by itself and you don't even have the full set it's barely gonna help you out and it takes up a quarter space but still it takes up space next one is spooky go round also bad utility it's barely gonna help you out at least it's more useful than the spooky house of last because this one does provide a 13 percent walking speed bonus to weavers which i think are more useful but of course it depends on the meta so yeah this one's only slightly better also i'm not giving these like a rating for cost because you can't actually buy them they are free nfts after all next one is spooky wheel of nightmares the one that gives passive corn so the problem is i can't actually rate this one because at the moment of making this video i don't know what the craft requirements are on the corn field i don't know how fast it, the corn is crafted i just don't have enough information on corn to actually give this the proper rating that it deserves so to be honest i don't know right now on the spooky wheel of nightmares on the passive corn utility and finally the spooky ghost tracks this one is the crafting speed boost to candy shops and chocolatiers so the utility on this 
it's good if you're using it for that uh for the candy shops and chocolatiers but i've done a lot of competitions and candy shops and chocolatiers are rarely ever used so i feel like you're not going to be using this that often like maybe for the next few competitions it might be useful but i just don't see this nft being that useful in the long run for a large variety of competition metas or for rushes you might be able to use this on a candy rush it might help you out but there are better rushes like jam rush basically replace candy rush so i don't think candy cane rush is that useful now for the prices being sold at i think you can buy a whole lot of other nfts for that budget that'll help you out so much more overall so i gave it pretty low ratings to be honest these nfts look awesome don't get me wrong they all look cool but judging them just by their utility i really don't think they're that useful and even if you complete the full set for that bonus utility walking speed i still don't think it's gonna be enough so that's my honest review on these four halloween nfts i do know that there are more halloween nfts coming soon i do not know what their utility is gonna be but i can also make a video reviewing those if you would like me to hopefully you found this helpful or informative if you did leave a like leave a comment consider subscribing if you haven't done so if you are planning to purchase these nfts and you want to help support the channel you can use my affiliate link in the description of the video it will help out so much so thank you as always i appreciate your support and thank you for watching